I don't use voiceover coaches. I don't use voiceover coaches and I never have. So the two other caveats besides all the other ones are this. First, of course, I watch and I listen and I learn from coaches. Namely, I have the number one rated voiceover coach for Voices.com, Bill DeWeese. Mm -hmm. And I've been following him for 12 years or so mm -hmm. and learned a lot from Bill. And I learned a lot from a lot of people. Um, but I've never hired them specifically as a coach um, in the traditional way. In other words, hiring coaches one-on-one -on -one and paying them for marketing strategies or for performance strategies or customer-centric strategies. I haven't ever needed to. And maybe I'm an anomaly. Maybe I learn differently. Maybe I'd be a lot better and make a lot more money if I did hire mm -hmm. a coach. I know it would be helpful in some ways. It always is helpful to have somebody. You know, you'll talk to me. Mom will talk to me. Andy, my assistant, will talk to me. The other boys will talk to me. When I had Phil as an editor and an assistant, mm -hmm. um, another employee that's gone on to other things, uh, I would talk to him about things, and he'd give me suggestions on lots of things. And so you can learn from anybody, and I do. But I haven't ever hired a, a coach specifically, with the exception of one coach who did a, a short gig review of my fiber, fiber gig account, for Jonathan. Sure. Yeah. Um, second, just because I haven't, and this is another caveat, just because I haven't and don't hire coaches doesn't mean you shouldn't. You do you. Do what's best for you. But here's a couple of things to think about. Don't just hire a coach because everyone else does. Figure out what your weaknesses are if you are thinking of hiring a coach, think about what your weaknesses are. And listen, if you can't figure it out, then hire a coach. Mm. So in other words, don't just hire a coach because everybody else is, and don't just hire a coach because you have a weakness. See if you can figure that out and do it yourself. If it's taking you a long time or you're getting frustrated, that's where maybe you get somebody else involved. Second of all, ask the coach, and we talk about this a lot, and it is a pet peeve of mine, and I'm going to say it's a pet peeve. And so I say, ask the coach, what do you make currently in just voiceover? Not voiceover and coaching, voiceover and demo production, voiceover and this and that. Voiceover alone. What do you make in voiceover alone? What will you make total in voiceover alone in 2022? What's your projected 2022 income? Make the coach tell you, <laughs> Proof. what their money, the, the, the money that they make. Uh, because you, you also want to, not only with that, you also want to make sure that they're an expert in the area that you're weak in. You don't want to hire somebody that's having the same problems you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons we ask about money. Because if they're making money in voiceover alone, there's probably a fair amount of strength that they have in their business and marketing and such that they can help you with. So I don't use VO coaches. I just, I just don't. But I don't expect you to not use them. All I want to do with this tip, kind of the behind the scenes, what I want is for you just to slow down and don't just hire a coach because everybody hires a coach. Mm -hmm. And then just a few little caveats to make sure that you hire the right coach. Mm -hmm. So again, you might have a different viewpoint. Fine. I know a lot of people do, but that's my viewpoint.